We present our paper, Vision-Driven Compliant Manipulation for Reliable, High-Precision Assembly Tasks. In this work, we address the problem of precisely controlling compliant mechanisms, more specifically a low impedance manipulator and an under-actuated hand, for tight tolerance and open world insertion tasks. We develop a system architecture that closes the control loop through vision, specifically by training a 60 object pose tracker solely from synthetic data that is both high fidelity and physics aware. We monitor the state of the task in real time in order to provide feedback for planning and control of both the arm and the hand. This pose estimate serves to close the loop of our control approach, which performs within hand manipulation via a learned inverse dynamics model of the compliant system. We complete insertions of five different 3D printed objects, each with less than 0.25 millimeters of hole tolerance, as depicted in the bottom left. This task of tight tolerance insertion highlights the three main goals of this work. 1. Complete tight tolerance insertion without any force sensing on the manipulator or the hand, while also doing so without time-consuming online learning. 2. Utilize within hand manipulation of a compliant hand as to extend the manipulator's workspace for insertion. And 3. Incorporate vision feedback into the control loop to aid in insertion, as this feedback will be key to precisely controlling our compliant system. During execution, the object tracker monitors in real time the state of both the peg and the hole via an external RGBD camera until task completion. We showcase the efficacy of our insertion approach for all five objects in this scene. Note that as geometry of the object changes, the insertion approach largely remains the same, providing generalization of the task. Due to the visual feedback, our insertion strategy is robust to external system disturbances of the arm, object, and hole. Here, we show in the videos on the left and in the top right that the system can overcome either deliberate or self-induced system disturbances. We then also showcase the video in the bottom right, which presents sequential insertions to showcase robustness. Our work evaluates ablations by looking at success while removing individual system components, namely reducing compliance, limiting control, and adding noise to the sensor's estimated pose. We evaluate three of the five test objects, where we note lower rates of success for each. Reducing system compliance made the task more difficult and encouraged object jamming. Naive and open loop control performed extremely poorly without feedback, missing nearly 100% of the time. And interestingly, by adding sensing noise, our system was still able to complete the task almost half of the time, due to the robustness afforded by system compliance. Finally, we showcase our system in a number of open world tasks as to illustrate its efficacy in complex manipulation scenarios. Here, we present the task of box packing and marker insertion, where all four objects are contained within the readily available YCB object and model set. In particular, although the large marker is thin, small and thus challenging for both visual tracking and within hand manipulation, we are able to perform the insertion with ease. This is a testament to the tracker's ability to work with challenging object properties, such as with textures or dull geometries. We also increase task difficulty of our open world tasks by performing cup stacking and plug insertion. For cup stacking in particular, state feedback of the underlying cups is necessary, as small errors in placement can easily lead to task failure. For the green charger, our CAD model used in tracking was obtained by scanning it with the RealSense camera. This task shows that our system works robustly even when the CAD model is imprecise or with low resolution textures. Overall, we are excited about what our system can do in complex manipulation scenarios. Thank you.